All right, mates. Two v country inside complete yet. Today is entry number nine. Sweden! Yes, it's Sweden today. What is your image of Sweden, guys? Is it ABBA? Mamma mia. When I'm really now, or Avicii. So wake me up when it's all over. All the furniture that everybody buys from Ikea. Ikea. Well, do you know where Sweden is? Sweden is located in the North Europe and it shares borders with Norway on its west and Finland on its east. Yes, and Denmark is pretty close to Sweden. It's in the south right here. And the population is 10 million people, um, which is 91st in the world population ranking. And the language spoken here is Swedish. And the currency. Do you guys know what currency is used in Swedish? Used in Swedish? In Sweden? Um, does any student know in this hall? Hmm. Yeah, I think it's difficult because they don't use Euro actually. Despite they're in EU, they don't use e Euro. They use their own currency, which is called Swedish Krona. It's one dollars is uh, nearly equivalent to 10 SDK, which is Swedish Krona. Okay, next let's study the five biggest uh, populated cities in Sweden. Okay, number one is here, Stockholm, yes. And it's actually the capital of Sweden too. It's the largest city. And number two, we go to the west, is Gothenburg. Gothenburg is number two. Number three is Malmo. And number four is, we go back to Stockholm, it's Uppsala, Uppsala. And number five is pretty close, Vasteras, yes. Okay, and today's lesson, I want to highlight the education of Sweden because it's remarkable in my opinion. Swedish, Sweden's education is um, said to be really good all around the world. I extracted three big reasons why Sweden's education is so good. First, you might not believe this, but it's free for all students. How amazing is that? It's free. So students can go to school for without tuition. It's free. And number two is, look, students get paid allowance. It's not only free, but they get paid money. How much? It's about 1,250 Swedish Krona, which is about $140 per month. They get paid this much per month. They get paid to go to school and study. How amazing is that? And the education system is, it uh, introduces sustainability and environmental awareness. It's really future, like modern education. They learn about SDGs, about important stuff, uh, global change, important education. And it's often not memory studying, not by book, but it, it requires more creativity and innovation thinking. This is why education in Sweden is said to be amazing. Okay, today's lesson about Sweden is about it. Um, do you have any questions, students? Uh, Professor? Oh, I was going to ask one question. Sure. Actually, it's a really deep question. Okay. But, um, now you mentioned in the lecture about McDonald's. Can I eat Big Mac here as well? McDonald's? McDonald's. Atsushi, I think you were sleeping, am I right? No. No sleeping in my lecture. If you're hungry, just go to McDonald's. <laughs> okay, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, comment below. Bye!